Hi friends, this is Suzanne from Paradise Shoe and I'm here today with you um, for a cross training workout. This workout we're going to be utilizing dumbbells or weights and um, you'll need a set a little bit heavier. Um, I'm using 15s for this workout. You also need a mat. Just make sure that you're really warmed up because this is kind of an intense workout and I don't want you coming in cold. So you've warmed yourself up. I'm going to go over a couple um, exercises. Um, for our warm up, which we will be doing later in the routine. So we're going to squat and reach overhead. All right, so you're going to drive those hips back. Weight stays in your heels. Back stays in neutral. Very important. That's it. A couple more like that. So we'll be doing a shoulder press squat with the overhead press in this workout. All right, give me a hip hinge. So that's where we hinge from the hips. Knees slightly bent, back stays in neutral. Really driving your tailbone up, hanging onto the lower abdominals. We're gonna be doing some deadlifts today here in this position. Okay, so the arms will come right along the body, keep going. As you press that tailbone up, you'll be hanging onto the weights, keeping your back in neutral, not letting it collapse, abdominals pulled in. Very important there. Good, from there we're gonna squat, opposite elbow, opposite knee. Across the body. Rotation. Nice work. Keep going. Give me about four more of those. Good. One more. Okay. We're going to reverse squat. Pull the arms up to a bicep curl. Alternate that reverse lunge. Excuse me. Reverse lunge. Shoulders. Stay over the hips. We're not going to swing those arms, so we'll be doing this exercise as well today in this workout. Good. You can get that lunge lower if you like. Don't have to. Just four more of those, and we're going to pick up. Now, depending on the size of the weights that you have, I'm going to use one for my overhead press. So grab your weights. Either one or two. Okay, so you're gonna load them if you're having two. We're gonna be here for a minute, so just be mindful of how much weight you have going on there. All right, so really drive those hips back. Three, two, and you're going. So squat, overhead press. That's it, things to think about. Gently lift your toes. Bring those hips back, back's in neutral. You're squeezing at the top, squeeze. Lower abdominals pulled in. Protect the lower back. Woo. That's it. You got it. Shoulders, get some work here, as well as those legs. Breathe, all right. Almost there. Next exercise will be that alternating reverse or back lunge. Pulling both of those weights into that bicep. And time. Good, drop both of your weights. Remember, it's back lunge, pull, control the weight, alternate. Three, two, go. This will be depending on how much load you have. Load is your weights. We'll determine your pace. Good. Nice and control with those arms. Don't let them swing, please. That's it. A little rotation with the weight at the top. Great wrist. Good. Breathe. Nice and controlled. Almost done with these. Nice. Time. We're doing a squat. 
overhead press, single arm with rotation. So let me demonstrate. We're going to squat, pivot, rotate, squat, pivot, rotate. Okay, here we go. Three, abdominals pulled in, two, and go. Good. Really thinking about those lower abdominals, especially when the weight goes over your body. Nice work. Wrists are straight. Weights in the heels. Remember, you can always take a break. If you need it, and join back in.
your knees slightly bent back. Really think about pushing the tailbone up, hanging onto the abs. So we're gonna work deadlifts into our back and some variations. Okay, starting with the deadlifts, shoulders roll back, chest is up, hinge right there, hinge. Good. Making sure the knees are not locked out. Please be very mindful of you. Form here. Notice how my weights go right along the body. So your goal is to not change the back. You're just hip hinging. Good. Pushing through the heels. Coming back up to a straight line. No thrusting of the hips. Don't do that. It's too much in the lower back. Adding in. Hinge, wide fly. Fly it here. Three, two, standing up, squeeze the glutes. And again, hinge. Don't move your back. Stand it up. Woo again, lower abdominals, pull them in. Stand it up. One more set, like this. Stand up, just the deadlift. Hinge. Good. Shoulders back, remember. Squeeze your glutes. Two more. Hinge and wide row for three. Hinge, brace, three. So bend the elbows. Two. Stand it up. Do it again. Lower abdominals. You know where they're at. Have them holding. Stand it up. Good. Two more sets. Woo! Stand it up. One more like that. Weights and still on your heels. Stand it up. Just the deadlift. Eight. Yeah. You can get a break with your feet. We're gonna do the hinge. Narrow row next. Good. One more. Here we go. Narrow row. Hinge. Pull three. These are slower. Two. We'll squeeze. One. Stand it up. Again. Hinge. Pull. Pull. Stand it up. Pull. Pull. Stand it up. One more set. Narrow row. Stand it up. Good. Release the weights. It's going to let your hands. We have another set to go. We're going to cut that in half. Okay? Get water whenever you need. Here we go. Pick them back up. So we'll cut those sets down in half for you. Back to that. Just the deadlift. Hinge right here, please. Hinge. That's it. Again, knees are soft, shoulders down away from the ears. Squeeze your booty at the top of the lift. Pushing through the feet that pushing through the heels. Four more like that. Good. Here comes that ad. Hinge wide row. We have two sets here. I mean fly it open. Good, stand it up. One more there. Hinge, fly it open. Three, two, stand it up. Just the deadlift. Hinge. Oh yeah. Woo. Good, four more. You're doing great. You should be very warm right now. Hinge, wide row. Three times. Brace, trunk. Three, two. Stand it up. Do it again. Hinge, brace. Three. Stand it up. Just the deadlift. Last time. Woo. Seven. Oh yeah. Again, again. One more like that. Hinge, narrow row. Squeeze. Squeeze. Stand up this time. Double time that row. Here, pull. Fast. 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 Stay there. Four, three, two, and hold. Squeeze. Dominals. Breathe. Four, three, two, one. Release. Drop the weights. Time to spike the heart rate. What we're going to do 
press travel forward, either stepping it out wide, narrow, wide, narrow, fast feet back, or your second option is to hop it. Travel, in and out squats, fast feet back. One minute, three, two, and go. Whatever your arms wanna do. So do about four as you travel. Stay low as you fast feet back. Box in neutral, soft landings. Yeah. That's it. Work those in and out of thighs. Woo! Twenty seconds left. You got it. You're great. exercise is an inchworm into renegade row and time okay so you're gonna set your weights figure out where it is that you have your weights underneath the shoulders optional drop to the knees one row two row and then back up you go okay so if you're gonna drop your knees you use your mat we're here for a minute. Stabilize that plank when you row. It's a stable plank in a row. Three, now a row. Two, and go. Squeeze your glutes. Squeeze your quads. Squeeze those legs. Hang 
and onto your abs. So I want no movement with your plank as you row. Being mindful of the lower abdominals as well. shoulder girdle. You can kneel and do tricep kickbacks. Stand and do them. All right, so we're here for a minute. Be mindful of your abdominals, protecting the lower back, especially if you're going to bring your arms overhead. Three, two, squeeze your booty here, and go. Squeeze your butt. Lower abdominals, hold in. Bend that back, 90 degrees. Work in the back of that arm. Remember, if you start to feel anything on your lower back, still holding those abs, drop those weights down to one or go low. Come on. That's it. Keep going. Straight wrist. Lower abdominals. We're almost there. Time. Nice. All right, from there, friends. Woo. We're going to sit up and do a Russian twist with your weights. Okay? So, fix your mat. We're going to use one of your weights. Gonna reach back with that weight. Sit up. Russian twist. Russian twist. Back down. Okay, if it gets too much with the weight, you can certainly do this without it. All right, friends, here we go. Three, one minute. Chill and go. Rotate side to side. I want you to try to touch the weight to the floor. Both hands on that weight. <sighs> Breathe. <laughs> yeah. Get it done. <sighs> Keep it up. 20 seconds. Oh yeah. Keep breathing. There it is. Time. Okay, we're gonna be kneeling on our hands and knees. So we're gonna use one leg in the air. So that'll put a little more pressure on your knee. So again, I'm gonna fold my mat up just to have more cushion. You're gonna start with that right leg. The weight. Now I should say you can do this without the weight. But if you want a little more, we're gonna stick it right behind the knee. Make sure it's secured. Coming up to 90 degrees. Abdominals pulled in. No movement in the back. You can be on a high arm. 
or if it's more comfortable on the elbows as long as your back's in neutral you're good here we go friends with you're staying with me on this one whoop, whoop. three two right leg press it up flex the foot i need a little pause at the top oh yeah working the booty there we go there's eight we got eight more eight back stays nice and neutral your hip doesn't open up four three feels good two take it up just hold it hold keep that knee as high as your hip flex that foot half inch press pump 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 four three back to singles down up oh yeah check with those abs four three two take it up hold watch that knee keep it with your hip that's it half inch little pump eight seven six five four three and hold hold it Woo! there it is breathe little pump that's it let's go eight seven fire right there fire four three two one Woo! feels so good all right right into that left side please you don't have to go anywhere i just want you to see my working leg use that weight Make sure it's secured. Back nice and neutral. Abdominals pulled in. All right. Are you ready? Neutral spine. Brace your trunk. Here we go. Press. Press. With that little pause at the top. Pause. Yeah. Woo! Up. Do it again. We have to make it even. Eight, flex your foot. Seven, like you're pushing the ceiling away. Whoosh. Or the sky if you're outside. Woo. Good, take it up and hold. Hold. Keep that knee as high as your hip. Half inch pump. Go. Eight, seven, six. Lower abdominals. Check in. Down and up waves. Down. Up. I said please. Up. Up. Four. I'm so nice. Three. Two. And hold. Yeah. Keep that knee up by. Half inch pulse. Here we go. Eight. Seven. Six. Four. Three. Hold it again. Hold. Right there. Oh yeah, that's where it's at. Little pump, pump it, go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Making sure you get your money's worth out there, Paradise You. Ha ha. Okay, get some water, go on our back. Working our pectoral muscles, the chest. We're gonna start. I'm gonna freeze this way so you can see how my arms are doing. So, straight wrist, of course. Instead of directly out from the shoulder, drop the elbow just a little bit. When we press up, you're going to bring where your pinky edge of the weight together, rotate and squeeze your chest, your pectorals, making sure the weight's driving over the belly button not the shoulder. We already did shoulders. Okay, so you're getting into those pecs a little deeper. Are you ready? You're going with me this time. Three, two, press and rotate. That's it. Now you have options on the down to either rest them down and press or hover the whole time. Now that will be harder. Now you're gonna walk those feet a little closer to your glutes. Add a bridge if you want. So when you rotate up, squeeze that booty. Lift the toes and your shoes. Up, up, 
good. Eight more like this. Eight. Then we're gonna do some variation. Up. Press. Breathe. Exhale as you press. Keep that bridge. Go up and hold. Hold. Take it down. Pulse those weights three times. Three, two, one. Press up. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Press, pulse. Back to singles. Here we go. Move your hips again. Push. Exhale. Straight wrist. Four. Up. Three. Check with those abs. You're still using them. Keep that bridge. Pulse three. Three. Two shoulders are down. Over the belly button, please. Up. Pulse. Pulse. Push. Woo! Feels good. Back to singles. Let's do it. Down. Hup. Hup. Come on. I know you're fatiguing. You can do this, though. Mind over matter. Tell yourself, yes. Keep the bridge. Pulse three. Pulse. Pulse. Press. Woo, woo. Pulse. Pulse. Up. Pulse. Pulse. Press. Good. Pulse. Pulse. Take it down. Just hold. Hold. Right there. Wrist straight. Drop the hips. Half inch press. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Press up for four. Go. Four. You knew that was coming. Three. Two. Hold. Hover four. Half inch press. Four. Three. Full range. Last set for four. Come on. Three. Breathe. Good. Hold it. Last time, little press. Four. Three. Two, go all the way up and release. Woo! Nice job. All right. We're gonna go into single arm tricep. So we're gonna do one arm, then the other. Two sets of eight on each arm. Then we'll put the one weight in both of the hands, okay? So you're going to load that weight right over the shoulder. Make sure you bend. Bend at 90 degrees. You're going to straighten up so the other arm can hold it. Make sure the wrist is straight. Lower abdominals. Pull them in. Load into it. Straighten that arm. Eight. We're here for two sets. Seven. Breathe. Good. I know we already worked some tricep. We're doing it again, friends. Again, eight. Get it, seven. If it gets more difficult, what you can you do? There's your other hand. Help it out. Four, ah, three, two, and one. Switch arms. Good, load it in. I'm just gonna turn around so you can see what my working arm's doing. Here we go, straighten that arm right there. Push, push, push. Good, exhale. Breathe. Halfway there, we have eight more to go. Eight. That's it. Come on. Keep that wrist straight. Four more. Four. Three. Two. And one. Bring your hands on the edges here. Bend at 90. Press it up. Push. Bring that lower back into the mat. Optional. 90 degrees with those legs. This is gonna get you a little more lower abdominal work, as long as you keep that back into the mat. Now watch the elbows. They start to fatigue the triceps and they wanna go wide. Don't allow them, please. Keep those elbows right over the shoulders. Press, press, press. You got it. How many more sets? What's that? Whew. I don't know about that number. Keep it going. Oop. Elbows are in. Are you feeling this yet? Oh yeah. You have eight left. Get him. Eight. Seven. Come on. Breathe. Check those elbows. 
four, three, whoo, and one, release. Okay, we have one more exercise to go when we're done with this workout. You can do this with or without the weight. The lower back will be in the mat, the legs will stabilize. You'll reach your weight to the toe or your hands, drop it down, reach it up again. Okay, option two, you'll reach when you drop those arms back, one leg goes down, reach back up, the other leg. Oh yeah. All right, friends, we're here for a minute, then we're done. Three, chill, and go. That's it. Exhale. And always ditch the weight to gain too much. Watch that lower back. It stays in the mat for me, please. Breathe. Woo! That's it. You're doing great. Remember, you don't have to drop the legs. But you can. We're almost there. Hang in there. Time. Woo, drop that way. Lengthen out. Let the back arch feel comfortable in your spine. Woo. Nice work. We did it. Pull those knees in. A little side to side for the lumbar. Please make sure that you're gonna stretch it out after that workout. You can do that on your own, or you can do that going to stretch video on the YouTube channel. Thanks for joining me today, friends, and we'll see you next time for the next workout. Have a great one.